Fighting out of AACF in Wilkes, Upper North Carolina, out of the red corner, please all welcome. Now we're in business, folks. This place is filled up quite nicely, and uh, I'll keep it a buck with you. You know, there's not much you can say about this young man making his debut. He is from the same gym as Juan Chavez, but one thing I can say is he brought a lot of people here. We'll have our answers soon enough. This is a pretty serious walkout song. I'm angry already. I want to smash some stuff. Yeah, this place has filled up, man. What a great show. Hey, you need to turn this light, uh, bright, uh, light off. You know, I'll say this about Dale. Or, sorry. I'll say this about we Sam. Take a picture, just not he the has improved in one aspect. He's not saying looking to get their first win in the cage. Yes, I'm so glad. He, he must have heard that feedback from us. That note must have got back to him. <laughs> that it wasn't reading the way that he was. Because I tell you, he's been doing that for years. And then the, you said it once, it's gone this show. It has not shown up this show at all. It's my job. I'm the voice of reason. That's right. I'm always the voice of reason. That's right. That's what I do. Man, oh man. So this is Ricky Harris. Kids in shape. Kids pumped up. Kids in shape. Comes, he got an angry walkout song. I will say that. Wow, both these guys sound like they have a lot of supporters in the crowd here tonight. And I'll tell you this, our, ki our, our commission showed up a little late today at around three, or sorry, at around one. So some of these kickboxing athletes only had like two hours to three hours at most to rehydrate. These MMA fighters have had a lot longer, like a more appropriate window of time yes. to rehydrate from their weigh-ins. For those of you who don't know, North Carolina is same day weigh-ins for MMA. Yeah. So, so when you're an amateur, that can be brutal. That can be brutal to undertake. Especially if you've chosen your weight Poorly. not based on a Poorly. same day weigh in. Yeah. yeah, or if you think like, well, oh, you know, you picked your weight class thinking in your brain that it was 24 hours, like maybe if you fought somewhere else. And sometimes it could be even longer than 24 hours. But these guys weighed in a couple of hours ago. Logic would dictate that you don't cut that, oh, so don't cut that much of a same day weigh in. Especially for your debut. Especially for your debut. Everyone's, everyone's going to be tired anyway. I'd rather have the energy than a couple more pounds. And if you're a little guy in an MMA gym, you're used to fighting bigger guys anyway. So let somebody else kill themselves in order to squeeze a couple more pounds onto the scale. This Rockstar energy drink, I don't think I've ever had one of these before. These are delicious. Me neither. I think you're just, I think you're just maybe any maybe. port in a storm sort maybe. of thing. Maybe. I'm just trying to get us a commentary sponsor, you know, yeah. like I'm trying to, like trying to pay the bills energy here. energy drink. You know. Hickory Haunts just wanted, you know, the hot knockouts to come out and see their stuff. They didn't, they didn't want Mike and Dylan in the video. I need an energy drink sponsor for sure. <laughs> yeah. Ramiro Gutierrez in the green shorts. Ricky Harris in the black shorts. Ramiro Gutierrez. Ramiro taking a jab on the chin there. Big Betty cross. Cracks him. him. He's hurt He's real bad. Trouble. He's scooting for dear life, trying to put his feet back between him and Gutierrez. They say jiu-jitsu doesn't work in a fight. That was definitely jiu-jitsu-ish. Ju <laughs> but he gets his guard passed, and now he's stuck down in side control. I mean, you know, if I'm Gutierrez, unless I'm a really, oh, nice neon belly to mount, I would probably just keep it standing. But it looks like Gutierrez is quite comfortable on the ground here. But he's also giving... Harris time to recover. That's true, but look at him on this arm. He's a dog on it. And he's also got the nice setup for the triangle if he wants to switch. I mean, he's already beaten out one arm. If he can get him, if he can force a roll here, he'll be in a better spot. He's a little high. Like, if 
Harris were to just Harris. stand up, he'd be out. Yeah, he's got to pop pop himself out of there, but he's uncomfortable. All he has to do is come to his feet, but yeah, you're right. He is. He's looking like he doesn't know what to do. Now you see Gutierrez locking that high triangle. Yeah. And that's going to, it's already going to be so deep, but his shoulder is out. So actually he might not even be getting choked here, but, but it's still getting twisted up and, and it's still going to wear on him. Even if, even if Gutierrez can't finish this. Yeah. Ricky there, Harris is still getting squeezed. There's a big chance that it is choking if that arm's folded he over can start properly, hitting him here too. When the shoulder's that far out, yeah. And he's out. Harris should be out here. And Harris pops right back up. He doesn't waste any time. Now, how much has Harris recovered? Low kick from Harris. Eats another jab. Oh, his, his eyes cut, it looks like. He's having trouble finding the range for his overhand right. I mean, it looks like Gutierrez wants this fight on the ground. Yeah, Gutierrez felt something on the ground. Swelling under Harris's left eye. Got a big old mouse under there. Harris's coach telling him not to settle in, not to concede this position that he needs to already be fighting. But Gutierrez has those legs locked up tight. Gutierrez letting go of the legs in order to continue to pass. Harris's coach asking him to get up. Yeah, Harris I don't leaving. like to hear that in the corner because I mean, duh. It's yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't like don't like that. So what he's asking for, what a lot of athletes will do is they'll get Wall in this position, or they'll they'll hang out for a while, kind of wait for the the storm. Oh, this is a tight guillotine. Man, that's a Step ton of pressure. Over. Can he pop his? He's tapping. Romero Gutierrez by guillotine. John Jones style in the first round. Massive amounts of pressure against the cage with that guillotine, and Harris tried to just tough it out. Domination and control the entire time, for sure. Great fight from Gutierrez. And he showed, he showed everything. He punched, he, he was striking, there was clinching, there was takedowns, and then he finished with a submission. Cool fight. There we go, a finish. One from an oppressive, smothering amount of pressure with that guillotine. He was mashing him as hard as he could into the cage. Harris tried for a few moments to tough it out, but succumbed and eventually tapped. To the guillotine from your winner, Ramiro Gutierrez. Now we're going to get the official ruling and maybe some words from the winner with Dylan McGrath. Your winner by referee stop is 245 in the first round. Fighting out of the blue corner. I'm here with the winner, Ramiro. Ramiro. Uh, this is your debut, man. Uh, one thing I always like to ask is, after all the training, after everything's said and done, the fight's over, how did it feel to finally get in there and do the thing? Feels good. Uh, I'm speechless, but feels good after training for two, three years consistently. So, yeah, it really feels good. That's awesome, man. You, I mean, I thought this fight was all you. You heard him early, and you stayed dogging on him the entire fight. It looked like you were going to finish a triangle from the back over here. He gets back up. You heard him again. Bring him down. Finally getting the choke. Was that kind of the game plan, like getting this thing on the ground and getting it going there? Yeah, for sure. I was trying to be more dynamic with striking and wrestling because that's my thing. I like to wrestle. So, But, yeah, I thought I was going to get him with that triangle, but I haven't fully locked in. And then when we would stand up, I was like, it's time to go. And then I give him a couple pieces, and then after that, uh, double legged him, and then for there. But yeah, you hit that John Jones style guillotine up against yeah. the fence. That's a hard move to finish, but as soon as you kind of set your hips in, it, it was like he couldn't tap fast enough. Is that a move you've hit in the academy before, or is that something you saw, saw like just in the moment? Um, something we hit a lot during training camp for sure. A lot of guillotines, but most importantly is pressure. I was pressuring him into the cage with my wrestling. You brought the pressure not just with the wrestling, with the strikes too. You were hitting him with the pieces, as you called them, for sure. 
before I let you go, do you have any shout outs for these guys behind me, your team, anything like that? Yeah, I want to shout out to Combat Athletics. I've been there since I was a little kid. And now I'm making it happen. I'm showing myself out. So yeah, feels great. So your debut's in the books. I can uh, assume we'll see you in here again for Fight For It? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Awesome, well congratulations on your first win, your debut in the cage, man. Ramirez Gutierrez! <laughs>